Hey y'all, it's your boy Rico. And Sam. We're back at it again with another review. Yeah. And as you can see, we are reviewing Trans Tape. Um, this is definitely something I've been wanting to review, especially since summer is coming. Like, mm. if you buy, you know how shitty it is to buy in the summer and the heat? In general, but still, with like summer coming up, we really wanted an alternative to wear like, you know, normal tank tops or maybe unbutton our fucking button downs to show some skin. Yeah, so we hit up Trans Tape and they were awesome enough to send us a lot of shit to review. They sent us like a beginner's kit, in a sense, I guess. So we got one large one, and then two of this size here. And they also gave us this um, organic oil to use for removal. And then afterwards, a healing salt, which kind of looks like a stick of deodorant to put on your skin after you removed all the tape. There's a lot to cover with this, so um, when it comes to like, the details, you can find out on your own on their website. I'm gonna speak about my experience, Sam's gonna speak about his. After putting it on and everything, I've used K-Tape before, KT-Tape, whatever you call it, and I feel like it's the exact same thing for me. Um, it does not bind as well as a binder. I don't think this ever will for anyone. I feel like at the end of the day, it, it just made it less curvy, like your chest, but still like there's like a bump. And it's way bigger than a peck will ever form to be, if that makes sense. <clears throat> um, Unless you're like super small. Still, my, like, my body is just unproportionate, you know? Yeah. Um, and to describe this texture, I, I legit feel like this is K-Tape. Uh, definitely adheres way better than KT-Tape. Um, they say this can last for days and days, and you can shower with it, bathe in it, swim in it. And I fully believe that. Yeah. Like, holy shit, I believe that. Uh, one thing Trans-Tape says is to definitely, like, cut... Uh, the edges edges to round it so it doesn't curl up and that is true to you because my first strip i put on i forgot to cut the edges and i could see it already like curling up i wore my tape for 24 hours exactly nothing curled up i could sleep in it it felt good like i was fine like it didn't irritate me at all really um but at the end of the day i don't think i would use it use it i used the longer one because I am bigger chested. I was like, well, I just want more coverage. Um, I think the more coverage would be better for me, but it is a learning curve, y'all. It's really all about like trying and trying again until you really feel out, figure out like where, what placement works and how hard you should pull it and whatever. I noticed that when I was doing it, that there was different just like fat things coming out of different places and it just, well, I wasn't happy with it. It's, it's very hard because yeah. like the angles of it all and having to pull away the paper that sticks to the adhesive and deal with that and then deal with the tape itself, it's very hard to get every angle. So I really think you, if you're going to try this, have someone you're comfortable yeah. with helping you out. Yeah. And that's like another downside, you know what I mean? And also something we wanted to touch on is, since it's such a tough thing to do like physically, you get hot, you get frustrated, yeah. and then maybe the first, second, third, fourth time around, it's still shitty looking, right? It can definitely induce dysphoria, and it did for both of us. It, it definitely did induce dysphoria. So if you struggle with bad dysphoria, I would just keep that in mind before yeah. trying to do this. Prepare yourself. Know the first, second, third time, it might not go well. One thing I want to say, definitely, we can only speak for ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can read instructions all day. We don't know the best way. I've seen videos online. I would suggest like YouTubing the fuck out of it if you really want to try to do this right. I really suggest reading the rules that they give you, the instructions, reading it over and over and over again. I feel like every step is very important. From taking a shower beforehand so there's no oils, mm -hmm. and cutting the edges, and how t telling them what direction to put it in. The attention to detail is very important for this. Um, there's many steps to it, and I feel like every step is important. So that's enough with putting it on. I'm taking it off. Sam, you know, he, it wasn't his tea. He put it off, took it off pretty much immediately. I really wanted to see if I could sleep in it and like go a full day and I went 24 hours with it. And then it came to removal time. Um, they want you to soak the entirety of the tape in this oil. It's organic oil, so hell yeah, there's nothing weird in it. Purely. Is that what changed the color of it? I was curious. Yeah. Saturate it, let it sit for three to five minutes at least. And that's what I did. And I started to pull. I got scared, but you know, I started to pull and pull. Uh, it wasn't too bad. And then it started hurting a lot. I really like massaged it. It took a lot of time, stressed me out. Um, so with my left side, I did it strictly with the oil. The right side, uh, they say you can take a hot shower and that might help. So I 
went to the shower and I feel like that was much easier. Yeah. I ended up just like shoving my whole chest under the, under the hot shower <clears throat> and pulling. Big thing with this fucking tape, if you have a hairy chest, shave your goddamn chest. Uh, Please, no, shave your chest. I was about to say the opposite. No, dude. Like, if I, you, if you rip it off like a band-aid, you'll lose hair. I really went slow and steady with it. I lost one single nipple hair, y'all. That's one single it. Nipple hair. I looked at the tape. I'm like, one little hair. I was probably already falling off already. I'm significantly hairier than Rico, though, I feel like. Uh, and I, I have, like, like especially here, I am hairy. Like, not here, not yeah. here. It is here. I am hairy. And I felt like when I was ripping off, even when I had the tape on, I could feel the tape pulling my hair. Um, so I definitely suggest just buzz or shave it off because yeah. it just, if you're going to use this regularly, I really just recommend, like, I, I could literally, like, feel the tape pulling on my hair even before trying to take it off. Yeah. So I just say, just for comfortability's sake, I would shave. Oh, also, shave your fucking, shave your pits up. Shave your pits up. Yeah, they do suggest a trim to a quarter inch of hair. As safely as I took it off, I wore it for 24 hours. I did get a lot of irritation. Sam saw blisters on me. Um, so I'm letting that heal. And I anticipated not being able to buy the next day. And this is the next day I'm not binding. So I'm letting my skin breathe. You gotta realize you'll, you're putting tape on you. So your skin can hardly breathe. It's not getting the oils and nutrition it should. So definitely take care of yourself after taking this off. And with all that said, like me getting blisters, me not really being that happy with it. Like, um, it's, I feel like it's really dangerous. Like it's scary. Like if you're going to use it, be careful taking it off. Maybe this is amazing for guys that are hardly an A. Yeah. Um, like I'd say I'm a full A and I don't like it cause it still reveals too much. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. Um, so at the end of the day, if you really want to try a binder alternative, or if you can't wear a binder for whatever reason, try it just please be very careful things that i really like about this company is that it does offer different sizes so people with different size chests they can uh pick what they think will work best for their body type i think that's awesome so that there's um because that was one of the biggest reasons why i never tried kt tape is because it's like oh no there's no way like people with my chest like size there's no way i could possibly ever use it so it's great that i do have the option to use this in the future if i can figure out something that works for me if i can figure out the right placement for me awesome i'll totally use it um, I do like how much I feel like I can breathe without a fucking binder on, so that's great. I think it's great that they provide products that help you with your body healing. They're not just like, oh, put this tape on your skin and deal with the end thing on your own. So I think it's great that they have products to take it off and to help your skin feel better afterwards. And that it's organic. One thing to mention, they suggest uh, to try this on a random part of your skin to see if you have any allergic reactions. I feel like that's very important. Because what if you put this on, you wear it full day, and then you don't realize you're like, taking it off that you have like rashes and blisters everywhere. <sighs> so like maybe try it on your forearm for a couple hours, watch TV, I don't know, and see how your skin reacts to it. Uh, pros for me, definitely way better than cake tape. It sticks. Oh my god. I remember in the summer last year, I'd try it and it'd ripple up within seconds. This, I slept in it, stretched in it, moved, jumped, ran. I don't know if I really ran. I don't run. But it stays there. Um, it just... Fun. No, I did not fucking. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so just a big thank you to TransSafe for giving us these products and letting us try them out. We reach out to a lot of trans companies because we're curious how they are, and some reach out to us. And I just want you viewers to know that they're giving us products to legitimately and honestly review. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, they're not the best, but it's just, we're just two trans boys. There's many other trans people. Absolutely. For us, it might not have worked. We just really want to be honest about yes. how we feel about a product because we're not going to recommend something that we just don't feel as a sturdy product. So uh, yeah, if you have tried trans tape or K-tape, let us know what you thought, or if you're thinking about it. If you have any questions, please comment below. We will be more than happy to tell you more about it and our opinions on it. Okay, y'all? Yeah. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. And we will see you next week, y'all. Bye.